This is a quick video about what antennas will fit a Bofang radio. It isn't about what's best or what will give the most range, but more about what will actually fit onto the different radios. All the Bofangs use an SMA female connector. Most people advise you to remove the standard rubber duck and replace it with something like a Nagoya NA771, like this one. This is a great choice if you have a UV5R or one of its variants. This is essentially a UV5R, it's actually a BF F8 Plus, just the same but it has the inverted display. Unscrew the, connect the antenna from the connector, screw in the Nagoya, and there we go. It's nicely as it should. The Nagoya antennas and even the copies have a bigger base than the standard antennas. This is fine on a UV5R, but what if you have something like a GT3TP or a UV9R? Both of these radios have a raised lip around where the antenna sits on. This stops the bigger Nagoya from screwing in. Now the GT3 comes with this same Sonic antenna as standard. It's no better than the standard rubber ducks though. Because of the lip, the antenna doesn't screw in. Only a couple of threads there, no real engagement. And on this one, it does go in a couple of threads, but it doesn't actually make contact with the socket at the bottom. One solution is you can file the bottom of the antenna or even chop it off. But there is a better solution in my opinion, and that is to use the Retivis branded antennas. This one's a little bit shorter does screw in nicely, it's a little bit tight on the GT3, but it does screw in and make contact. And there's a longer version, which screws in very nice, all the way down, full thread engagement and makes good contact with the socket. The short one is the RHD701 and the longer one is the RHD771, so very similar names to the Nagoya antennas as well. I'm not saying these antennas are any better than the Nagoyas. They are very nicely made, however, but they do cost a bit more than even the genuine Nagoyas. However, they fit more radios. So this might save you a bit of money in the long run if you decide you want something other than a UV5R. Of course, if you just want to fit a massive antenna, then the tactical ones are the way to go. This is folded in half. It's still very long. The great fun, they do have a longer thread at the bottom, so they fit all the radios but they are just a bit cumbersome to use in normal use. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed the video hit like, hit subscribe and watch out for new videos coming soon.